Greetings, Auburn families and parents. Uh, this is Jeff Gardner, principal at Auburn High School, with just a really quick video. I'm hoping everybody will watch this. Um, I'm going to cover like two E's. One has to do with excused absences, and the other one has to do with extra time. So let me cover the first one about excused absences. One of the things, one of the slides that we show our kids almost every day at lunches, and they're hearing it all around the school, is kind of our layers of safety that we use to mitigate COVID and to keep our school as safe as we possibly can. And I've got the kids involved with uh, knowing what our goals are. We want to zero out COVID. We want to get to a two week period where we've got no new cases. And we've come really close before the holidays, uh, before Thanksgiving, maybe even a little bit before uh, mid or winter break. Uh, we got it down to one over two week period. We felt pretty good about that. We were striding to get to zero. But then this Omicron variant shows up and now we're spiking again, as you know. Um, the most recent number is nine, and that's new cases of staff or students, any of the people that inhabit our building. And we're hoping for a lower number next week uh, when we report that to the students. But, you know, numbers are one thing. The other things are the practices. So we talk to kids about if you're not feeling well, stay home. And that's really what I want to emphasize today in this video. And we cover all the other layers, too, of course. Um, We've even like, you know, kind of made it fun for them, trying to just give them different ways of understanding. If you don't feel well and you've got some of these symptoms, it is better, it is wiser just to stay home an extra day and you can't have a COVID related, doesn't mean you have COVID, but you can have a COVID related excused absence. Um, and that's what this looks like. So it's excused dash CR COVID related. And it's really important for us to have that information because our teachers also are screening for that as they're doing daily attendance. And I'm speaking to families of high school age students. And sometimes, you know, I get it. We don't always connect with our kids as parents because our kids have a lot of autonomy as younger adults. And sometimes they have to come to school, even though they shouldn't, because they we do see that ECR code. And then we've got to ask the kids to come on down to the attendance office and then we've got to get things uh, taken care of. But the main thing is if they're not feeling well or if they've showed some of those symptoms, it's important that you keep them home at least for a day and, and follow the protocols. OK, enough on that. The other um, E I want to talk about has to do with extra time. Back in August or maybe early September, we took our entire teaching staff up to Crystal Mountain and we talked about. Uh, we kind of themed our professional development called High Hopes. And one of the things that we try to instill in our kids is we have a lot of hopeful strategies around our building. And one of those hopeful strategies is something called E-grades. And a lot of people don't understand how E-grades work. They're actually a state transcripted grade. They're not a credit bearing grade. So if a student had an E on their transcript, it's the same as an F. OK, however, there's a little bit of magic behind an E if a student is willing to work towards it. Uh, we know an E grade represents a student that has a 50 to 59 percent percentage in their classes. 60 is, is typically passing. We'd like to see kids well above that, of course, but I'm talking about that that line right now, that 50 to 60 percent. So anybody, any of your students that end up with an E on their semester grades, that's what that E represents, okay? It is not a credit bearing grade. They don't get credit for that. It does afford them more time. So I always like telling kids the E stands for extra time. I don't really know what it stands for, but it does afford them some extra time. And here at the school, we know the semester ends on the 28th. They've got till February 18th to show their teachers they've gotten their grades up to at least, you know, a passing level in order to earn credit for first semester. So it's really important that your student has great communications with their teachers. And if you feel like you need to help out with that for clarification, don't be afraid to email any of your students, teachers, if that E grade appears. And then just know the teachers will work with your kids in Troy time. Some of our teachers are available after school. Sometimes your students don't even need the support of the teacher. They just need to get the work done, whatever that might be. But I just wanted you to know if you have some kids with lower percentages right now, you know, passing is 60%, but maybe the conversation should be get your grades up to at least 50% or higher. That way that affords you more time. We know time is a great intervention and we use it like no other. Um, like I said, we use Troy time, we have after school tutoring and the time the teachers will basically uh, create for kids. So anyway, that's enough information for today. So stay home if the student's not feeling well. And then also extra time on the E-grades as we're winding down semester one. Thanks for listening.